Hi friends, good morning. Hope everyone is good. Uh, this is a Dell BIOS. Uh, uh, here I am going to explain how to enable the legacy boot in Dell BIOS. So first of all, I enter here by power, power on the system and tap F12 key. So maybe it differs on different system. So here I ended on tapping F12 key. So here we can see the uh, information of the BIOS, uh, the HP system and also okay, directly entering how to enable the legacy boot. So first of all, we can see that. So escape from this, press any key. Okay, go into the storage option. Here I can selecting the boot order. Just see the boot order. Here we can see only UEFI is enabled. The legacy boot is disabled. So here I am showing how to enable the legacy boot. So for that thing, just again pressing the escape key. I'm going to the security tab. Security tab, here we can select the secure boot configuration. Okay, secure boot configuration. Here we can see that, okay, the legacy boot is disabled and the secure boot is enabled. So I am tap the app arrow. Apart from the keyboard, then we can see the legacy boot. Okay, it is disabled. So press the space button in the keyboard. Okay, at that time we got information that you must disable secure secure boot configuration secure boot before you may configure this option. So what the system saying is, I need to disable the secure boot, then only I can enable the legacy support. Okay understand that part so i am tapping the up down arrow secure boot so again press the space button space key so the secure boot is disabled so i am good to change the legacy support so i can now i can enable the legacy support so okay it is fine legacy support is enabled now I want to change the uh, accept the changes or so save the changes so I am typing F10 key okay once again I am telling that I came to uh, I want to enable the legacy support so I go to the security tab in the BIOS security tab from here the security secure boot configuration I tap the secure boot configuration from here first I uh, disable the secure boot then I enable the legacy support. Okay, for save change the for save the changes and press the F10 to accept the changes. So in now we can select in the boot order whether the US legacy boot is enabled or not. Go to the boot order. Here we can see UEFI is enabled and the legacy boot is enabled. Here we can see the UEFI and the legacy is enabled. Here also if it is disabled, if we want to disable, here we can disable it. But my purpose is to enable the legacy boot. Here it is enabled. So no changes. Here I can tape the escape key or F10 key. Okay, then I want to save the changes here. I need to go to apply default and exit. No, here I made some changes. So I need to save the changes and then exit so it will ask for a confirmation whether s or no here i need to tap yes and then i need to boot the system so next time at the boot order based on the boot order it will start from either the legacy boot or uefi boot here my first priority is the uefi boot so it will start from the uefi boot based on our friends we can enable the uefi or legacy boot Thanks for watching. Have a good time. Thank you.